Mumbai. A city of varied hues baffles the girl from Kanpur, Kirti Shah. Being in a place like Mumbai, it's not at all easy. There is so much of competition and everybody wants to go ahead and we have to keep running and running and being in pace with the world. This 22-year-old candid wedding photographer meets team get the look to help boost her self-esteem. Photography as of now uh, being a freelancer is not giving to me. It's not easy when all your other friends are into a regular job and your parents want a secure career for you. We've designed a treasure hunt of sorts where clues will guide her to her makeovers. For now, can Kirti reach me? So get the look at this. It's time for the starry-eyed girl to look like a million bucks. Okay, meet Ambika for some coffee. Spilling any beans. What does this mean now? Starry-eyed girl. Maybe a coffee shop? Why is there no coffee shop here? What is it? I'll go and check. Hi, I'm good. How are you? Come sit. So, well done. You found your first spot on the show. <laughs> Thank you. This was my first treasure hunt in life and it was quite interesting. So, Kanpur to Mumbai, how has the transition been? It has always been my dream since childhood to stay in Mumbai. And I knew that it would be great for the field that I'm into. As you would know that Kanpur is a very small town. People are more into uh, very... Uh, they have a very monotonous life there. They go to office, come back, eat food and sleep, which is not the same in Mumbai. So what's been the hardest part about the entire journey? I don't have the security of family here. I have to do things on my own, get the grocery at home, clean my dishes on my own, clean my room on my own, taking up work, moving in pace with the competition. Still keeping myself inspired all the time in spite of everything that is happening around in spite of the chaos that's there in spite of the hundred things that hundred people say to let you down so how do you think the get the look team can make it easier for you when i go for these high-end client meetings i want to look as stylish as them so that i give a very good first impression on my clients i want get the look to help me get over this phase of mine. So we'll help you with that but tell me what's your next assignment? I have this destination wedding in Bali. I have to leave for it in a few days. So when I got the wedding card it says the theme is resort wear and I really think you should help me with that. We can get you beach ready but you know it's not just about the outfit. It's about the entire look. It's about how confident you feel in your own skin and that's an acquired art but we'll make sure you acquire it right. Mm -hmm. From clothes to hair to accessories, we've planned out everything for Kirti. On the show today, we also have a big, big surprise for her. A meeting with her style diva, Sonam Kapoor. But before that, let's spruce up Kirti's wardrobe and get her beach ready. Nestled in Wankhade Stadium, Mumbai, Bungalow 8 is a lifestyle boutique where one can find Indian designs with a modern eclectic taste. And we have a style icon, Methli Aluwalia. She's also the owner and CEO of Bungalow 8 and will guide Kirti in her style journey. So Methli, the what we're tackling is the problem when you get an invite to cover an event and the dress code reads resort wear. So I was thinking of something like this, uh, even though it looks a little bit oversized, it's actually quite um, sensual and it has an open flap at the back and Ambika maybe the nautical stripes is not only quite resort but also quite in the season. Yeah, that's correct. So maybe correct. she should try it on. For sure. I think it makes her look very young. I think it suits her personality. I think she looks very comfortable in it. What I love about the dress is the, the peekaboo effect as well as the pocket. In fact, I love the dress also, but I don't think I'll be very comfortable going around and taking pictures. What about something like this? I love to try it. Have you ever worn a jumpsuit? <laughs> Never. I'm wondering how to wear it. Okay, well, 
Let me help you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. This looks fabulous. Do you feel that may maybe missing something over here? Should I maybe look at a necklace that we could accessorize it with? It's quite casual, but the semi precious makes it a little bit grander. She could look at making it more formal by adding a small sort of wooden wedge heel and actually wear a pair of dancing shoes. So what's the next thing you will recommend for her? I mean I think that we've looked at um two fairly androgynous silhouettes which while they suit your personality I also see a very feminine side so why don't we explore some options for that? I think it's very comfortable but yet chic, young uh but yet very sort of fashion forward fashion forward and almost avant-garde in some ways and i think it's very cool uh you just need to make sure you accessorize it well and metli is going to tell you exactly how to do that yeah i thought maybe here we want to keep the neckline quite bare and elongating um her neckline uh so i thought perhaps we could go with something a bit long you know again i i think that given that she is going to be working I think she looks like a very fashionable photographer. So Maitri, what's the appropriate length you would recommend for somebody like Kirti who is 5-2? I think it would be nice to actually have Kirti wear things a bit shorter. Thank you so much Maitri and Kirti for you there's lots more work. Your next clue is here at this store Bungalow 8. So you go look for it and I'll see you at the next stop. a frantic search asking for help and more search and finally kirti finds her next clue oh got it an old parsi house has come alive on off peri road the quintessential style icon is on work mode get advice to get that perfect look from this khoobsurat actor and you might borrow her x factor Put your thinking cap on and guess the celebrity. I wonder if they are talking about the movie Khub Surat in this. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. You know, you've been spot on on decoding the clues. Very impressive. Thank you so much. In a couple of minutes from now, you are going to meet somebody who is a legend as far as style is concerned. So come follow me. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Kirti, sit. Sit. Next to you. Yeah. All right. So, are you are you soaking in this moment? Think my heartbeat has increased from seventy two to seventy two hundred. So, uh, Sonam, Kirti here is a budding photographer. Okay. Who do you work with? I'm working as a candid wedding photographer for now, but I want to get into fashion photography. What advice do you have as a photographer? How should she dress? Yeah, obviously, at weddings, you need to wear Indian need clothes. Need clothes yeah. uh, but you want to be comfortable as well, right? Yes. You know, as Indian girls, our bodies look the best in Indian style clothes. Mm -hmm. Just wear like a dhoti pants and a short kurta. You know, and you have a little waistcoat on top, or you wear like high-waisted like skirts, lamba skirts, and you wear like chota cholis. You can just like wrap a scarf around. Load yourself with silver jewelry. You have these anarkalis that are floor length, which you can wear like maxi dresses. I just wear like kolapuri chappals, or I just wear like flat brogues. It's just very easy to do. No doubt, you're so amazing <laughs> at it. Feel you can change your hair up. I mean, go blonde from here, like ash blonde. Really, you think that'll suit? It looks really cool. Don't have like dark kajal on. That's it. I wish I could just send you a picture after I. Yeah, <laughs> you can totally send it to me. I would love to see it on Instagram and tag me, and I'll see it. Sure. She is five two. How do you think she should shop to make the most of her size and shape? I feel there are no rules in fashion. Just be comfortable and like don't think about the fact that you're short. Hold yourself tall. Make cooler choices. Wear clothes up and so on, and you'll be fine. Well, great. It's been good so far, but your journey is going to continue. And Sonam has an exclusive for you. That's for you. Thank you. After some lessons from the style diva herself, Kirti is all set for her next makeover. I still cannot believe what just happened. It was like a dream come true. More than a dream, in fact. This was a fabulous experience altogether. I am. 
so thrilled and I'm just going blank. I never imagined that I would be sitting next to Sonam Kapoor and talking to her. And this was a surprise. I had no idea Get the Look was planning this for me. Thank you so much, Get the Look. Hi, I'm Savi John Pereira and I'm a hairstylist. Hairdressing is my passion. I've been wanting to be a hairdresser ever since I've been in the sixth grade. I can't imagine myself doing anything else but being a hairstylist, making people happy every day of my life. So let's just take a look at your hair. When was the last time you cut your hair? How long back was it? New Year, like January. So let's do something fun. We'll maintain the length. You're looking out for a nice change, right? Yes. So for that, definitely we're going to put in some nice interesting color. We'll put in some browns, a little bit of beige and some nice blonde, a few blonde streaks. It's not going to be too loud, don't worry, it's not going to be too loud. But it's going to just kind of play around with your natural hair texture. It's going to show, but it's not going to be on your face. Kirti's hair colouring session gets even more exciting as she finds her next clue. While she's busy guessing what it could be, Savio gives her the perfect trim. So we just trimmed out a little bit of the ends since she really wanted to maintain her length. Uh, we've layered the hair out quite a bit to so kind of enhance her natural curl. I've cut the front in such a way to frame her face really nicely. Okay. My, my, great job, Savio. Thank you. So, you know what you need to learn from this exercise is you don't need to follow trends. You need to keep experimenting and navigating and finding your own identity and your own fashion voice. And that's exactly what the next exercise on the show will help you to.